and welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here, sharing my channel, giving me the likes and always commenting. It helps me get pushed out into the YouTube world so that more people can find my channel just like you found mine. So thank you so much and welcome back to my channel. So I have been playing around with this recipe um, once before to try to make it for my protein sparing modified fast day. And the first time it did turn out, but it's not exactly quite what I wanted it to be. So this time I have a different recipe that I made up that I'm going to try. And you can have this recipe on your protein sparing modified fast days as your dessert. And today I am making lemon meringue pie, you guys. I can't believe it. This turns out to be so good on the macros. I will definitely be sharing the macros later on in the video, but let's get started on making our lemon meringue pie. First thing you will need to do is preset your oven to 325. What we are going to be doing is we are going to be making a smaller loaf of the cinnamon sugar bread. Um, I will link that video here if you haven't seen it already, but it is another recipe that I had made up and it is absolutely delicious. It's another dessert that you can have on your protein sparing modified fast day. So we are gonna be making one smaller size loaf of that. And then we are going to be putting in the rest of the the dough into a pie plate and making our crust out of the protein spray modified fast dough. So let's get started on that. You guys already know I'm going to be using the recipe that I always have been using for all of my protein spray modified fast breads, monkey bread, pizza bread. I use the exact same recipe for everything, which I have gotten from the ketogenic woman. I always have her YouTube channel linked down below. And you guys all know this bread, this wonderful bread has all started by Maria Emmerich. I will also have her link down below as well. She's the one that started this movement on this Wonder Bread. So let's get started with our dough. All right, so I have this recipe um, always linked in my description that I use, but I will go over it for this one and then I'll just show you what we're going to be doing differently in order to make the pie. So we will need a cup of egg whites. Now I always use the carton egg whites for this bread. Feel free that you can use like um, fresh egg whites, but I think for the meringue, we are going to be using fresh egg whites just because they kind of stiffen up a little bit better. But like I've said before, we have chickens and I kind of like to cherish our chicken eggs to have farm fresh eggs. So that is why I use Use the carton egg whites and it's just more economical for me so and the bread always turns out really really good so what we're going to do is we are going to I put in the cream of tartar so I'm just going to turn this on until it gets light and fluffy mix all the rest of the ingredients in this bowl so you can watch me and see what I'm putting in this bowl like I said I always have the recipe link down below for you to resort to but my mixer is quite loud so I'm just going to turn on the mixer and then play some nice music for you guys I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world all right, and then I just slowly add the dry mixture to my egg whites. Then after it's all mixed together, I just put it on high for like 30 seconds to a minute. All right, also what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna quickly get my, my little sugar, cinnamon sugar all ready just in a bowl here because I put it throughout my cinnamon sugar bread. 
So I'm going to use, last time I used three or four tablespoons, but this time I'm going to use three because that is all I have, which will still be enough. And then some cinnamon, which I'm almost out of. Have to get some of that replaced. And we're just going to give that a stir. You guys have been, who have been here a long time know that I like lots of cinnamon. So that's that. All right, so that's all ready to go. And then what I do in my loaf, which I'll show you first, is I just put in a little bit at a time, kind of divide it into like thirds. Also, um, these silicone baking dishes that I have, I have them linked down below in my favorites from Amazon. Um, you might see something that's similar to the one that I have because the set that I got, it was $26. It was a huge set. Um, but I noticed that the price had gone up to like $51. So I did link a different set for you guys to have a look at, which was so inexpensive and it has been phenomenal. So Hopefully you guys got it on that deal. If not, check it out. The prices change on Amazon every day, unfortunately, but I will have the link down to all of my pans in my Amazon favorites so you guys can check it out. But these pans have been a lifesaver for me. Nothing sticks. You don't have to use any oil. It's been absolutely phenomenal. All right, so we are just going to do another layer. As you've seen, what I did there just on the first layer is I just put some cinnamon sugar to cover it all. And like I said, if you've seen this video, sorry, you'll have to watch it again, <laughs> what I'm doing, but um, I only make one pie shell out of this. So that's why I utilize um, the rest of the, the dough that I'm making because I really don't think any pie, like I'm gonna test it out and see, but I'm not sure how the pie would freeze, but I have a ton of other recipes that I wanna do with this pie crust. All right, so this one is just gonna kinda of be like a smaller loaf because um, I do wanna have enough for my pie shell for our lemon meringue pie. So I try to figure it out for it to be like about a quarter of the mixture that I'm going to be using for my pie shell. So I'm just gonna leave that like that for a second here and then I'm going to do the pie shell because I just wanna make sure that I have enough for my, my pie shell here. And like I said, that cinnamon loaf is going to be a smaller size, but it's a way to utilize um, all of the dough that you're definitely, you're not gonna need all of the dough in order to make your pie shell. So this is a perfect pan that I've been using for my um, pie shell. So what I do is I just spread it out. I don't spread it too, too thin, but I don't have it too, too thick. So I think this is going to be the perfect amount. So I just take it up right to the edges so we get a nice pie crust. Spread it throughout, make sure that it's all on the edges. And you're gonna wanna kind of form it to a pie, a pie crust. So make sure that it's all up on the edging and then you're gonna wanna make sure that all the bottom is covered and kind of like, it's definitely not gonna be a deep dish, but you're going to want to make sure that the rest of it is level. Okay, so I am going to finish putting the cinnamon sugar on our loaf. I have the oven set for 325. And what we are going to do is we are going to put our pie crust in the oven for 15 minutes. And then we are going to take it out to let cool. Now our loaf is going to stay in there for approximately 20 minutes or so because it is a smaller size loaf and we obviously don't want to over bake it because then it will get dry. So I'm going to leave this in for about 20 minutes and I'm going to leave our pie crust in for about 15 minutes and then I will tell you what to do next. 325 degrees is what our oven is going to be at for both of these. I'm putting them in at the same time.
All right, we are going to start on our lemon filling. This is the third time making this recipe and I decided to change it up and go with my lemon curd recipe. I've made it before and it always turns out great. So you will need three large eggs and I did this all in one saucepan, which was another easy way to do it. And everything just goes in the saucepan and then you will mix it up and um, boil it for a few minutes continuously stirring three large eggs, which are in the pot right now. Then we will add a half of a cup of the powdered swerve sugar. Make sure it's the powdered, um, your swerve granulated will not work for this. So you have to make sure that it is the powdered swerve sweetener. I always have a link down in the description of through Amazon. I usually get both of them, have a really, really good price through Amazon. So I am going to add a half a cup of that. And then what I did for my lemon juice, now I've either done either or. So this time around, I actually bought fresh lemons, um, but I have used the container lemon juice and it works just as good. So just so you know that you can also use that lemon juice as well. Um, but this calls for a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I did that. And then also two teaspoons of um, grated lemon zest. If you don't have a fresh lemon, then you can use lemon ec extract if you have that on hand. I've done that before and it works really well with my recipe. And then you're going to just add in your lemon juice and your lemon zest. And at this point, I actually don't have my burner on. I'm just putting everything all in one saucepan with all the ingredients. And that's another reason I should have done this recipe of mine from the beginning, but I just wanted to try to keep the carbs down a little bit lower because this does take three large eggs. But over the course of the eight slices of the pie, it's not going to make a huge difference whatsoever. Um, because I was trying it with like one large egg and some egg whites and it just wasn't thickening up and it was literally water when I made the second time. The first time turned out no too bad, but it was way too lemony, like to the point where it was sour. All right, so you're gonna see, this is kind of the texture that you want. It is a bit creamy, not extremely thick though. And what I also did is I had three or four tablespoons of butter that I had cut up and just slowly added them to my mixture as it was boiling to make sure that it's all well combined. I put this all in a glass container and I put it in the fridge overnight so that it solidified a little bit and became um, good for my filling for the lemon meringue pie and it worked out perfectly. So highly recommend using this recipe for the lemon filling for our lemon meringue pie. I will have it all written out below. So this video is kind of all over the place because my second attempt at this lemon meringue pie um, actually the lemon filling never worked. So what I did is I had made a different um, lemon filling and I recorded that bit. You would have seen it already. Um, I would have done a voiceover for that bit. So I had to remake the pie. I also needed to remake my cinnamon swirl bread anyways. So I had to remake my pie. So now I'm going to put the lemon filling on my pie crust and then I'm going to make the meringue and we are gonna take take three. We're gonna pray. <laughs> and we are gonna pray and hope that this one turns out. So let's get into the video, the rest of it. Put the lemon filling in and then work on the meringue and then put it back in the oven. All right, so this is completely cool. This is a new pie shell. And what I'm going to do with this one, I put it on a cookie sheet with some parchment paper because I found leaving it in the um, pie container was really, really hard to get out once all of the filling and everything was all in it. So I'm just gonna put this lemon filling and I am just going to kind of dollop because it's gonna be easier to then kind of uh, spread around on the pie. Now this isn't going to be a whole lot of filling because um, let's face it, this has um, some carbs. So over spread over eight slices, it's not gonna be too, too much. But if we doubled the recipe, um, then it would probably be too many carbs for a protein sparing modified fast day. But this is gonna give you the flavor that you want anyways in your lemon meringue pie. I'm not doing this video again if this one fails. <laughs> Just kidding, I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> I am determined for this to turn out. 
Now we are gonna set this aside and then we just are going to make the meringue. All right, so for the meringue part of it, we are going to use three fourths, three fourths of a cup of egg whites. And I just have a half a cup measuring spoon here, so I'm gonna use one full one and then a half of that. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of cream of tartar to this though in order for it to keep um, its shape. I'm just gonna add a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar to that. And then we will beat that on high. I know that you are having a hard time right now. All right, now. so I also added a quarter of a cup of the granule swerve. I used the powder swerve last time and it didn't work as well as the um, granulated ones. So. Then what we are gonna do is just, we are gonna put all of our meringue on top and I'm just gonna plop it on just so that it's a li little bit easier to spread throughout. Because obviously if you put this whole big blob, it's just really, really hard um, to spread it around without making a mess and getting the lemon filling over I everything. New friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to me. I'm excited. I'm hoping that this is going to be good. Alright, now we're just gonna kind of make some little peaks as you would on your normal lemon meringue pie. You can do them however you want. There's really no technique. This is just what I do all the time. Some of them are like deeper than others, but you guys do, do your own thing. If you've made lemon meringue pie, you probably have a better technique than me. All right, so this is going back in a 350 degree oven and we are just gonna keep an eye on it. I believe last time I did it for 10 minutes, but I will keep you guys posted on how long. So this goes back in the oven, all right? This is it right out of the oven. I had that in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. I believe it was pretty much 12 minutes exactly, but just keep an eye on it. You definitely don't want it to get too um, golden brown, but we're just gonna let this sit for a little bit. And I'll actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna maybe let it sit um, overnight because it is later on. Then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then we will slice it open tomorrow, but you guys will see that in the next clip. So, all right, it is the next morning. I had ended up putting this in the fridge overnight is what I did. And the only thing is that I think some of the liquid, like the lemon filling is, you can kind of see the wetness that is kind of like oozed out, I guess, if you want to say. So hopefully it stayed like, you know, we don't, it's not a lot of lemon flavor, but that's what's going to give us all of our flavoring. All right, let's cut into it. Hope for the best. And let's see how this turned out this time. Now I feel that the, um, the pie shell, which is the protein sparing modified fast bread. I feel like that takes on kind of any flavor that you add it to because I really don't find that it tastes like anything just alone. I've mentioned that before. Um, ooh, look at that. That turned out pretty good. All right, the only thing is that the lemon is a little bit liquidy, but it's still kind of held together, um, like as far as the lemon inside. So let's give it a taste test. All right, so I just moved over to the other counter to take some pictures of this absolutely beautiful thing. It finally turned out. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. But the interesting thing with this pie is that it is good for your protein sparing modified fast days. And today is a protein sparing modified fast day for me. I haven't quite fasted as long as I normally would have, but I can't. I can't wait to taste this and like, look at like how good does that look? Come on. It like this looks legit, you guys. So good. The meringue is light and fluffy. I already tasted the lemon curd. I've made this lemon curd recipe before. There goes the train. All right, let's give it our first taste.
Okay, that's pretty good. So the meringue is really light and fluffy. Like it melts in your mouth almost instantly. So the pie crust, which is the protein spray modified fast bread, it doesn't taste like anything. So it kind of goes with the whole pie. But, <laughs> and the lemon curd is like, this is the recipe that I made up and it is absolutely amazing. I made it before. I've made actually, um, the lemon curd for some chaffles. I've made raspberry lemon chaffles and used the same recipe. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You know when something's so good that you have to like, you just find yourself eating it really, really fast? Yeah, that's me. It's really, really good, you guys. Let me finish this and then I will come back to you. Okay. So I'm going to go over the macros because I'm not sure if I did. This video has kind of been all over the place because, um, like I said, I've had two fails. This is the third one that actually worked out. So I've recorded those other videos. <laughs> so I kind of get confused on where I'm at. So I'm sorry if this video is um, all over the place. I'm d definitely going to try to edit it so that it makes sense. So I've added in everything, like absolutely all of the ingredients that I used in order to make this. I have included on this piece of paper so you can kind of see all of this paper I will also have this written on the screen as well too so for one eighth of a slice so I decided that I was gonna cut this pie into eight slices um, just like I kind of like a, a piece of pie you know what I'm saying like I don't like a little sliver I definitely want to have like a good piece of pie that will satisfy that sweet craving so for one slice, the total macros are 89 calories, six grams of fat, one carb, and eight grams of protein. So I know that this is a little bit higher in fat. It is six grams, but I feel on my protein sparing modified fast days, my fats are always low because I tend to stick to like the lean meats. Um, so I'm always, I always have like some fat that could have some leeway, but this fits into my macros perfectly for my protein spray and modified fast day. So between, between the cinnamon swirl bread that I created and this lemon meringue pie, you guys are going to be set on your protein spray and modified fast days. So it is, it tastes legit. It tastes so good. I absolutely love lemons. So, um, that is why I created this. Um, like I said, third time's a charm, so I'm so glad it turned out. That is it, you guys. I hope you give it a try. It was really, really easy to make. Guys, let me know what recipes of mine you've been trying. Also, if you make it on your channel or if you make it at home, make sure that you're letting me know you're tagging me in it. I would love to see who is making this and how much they enjoy it and love it as much as I do. So thank you so much for sharing it. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video to YouTube thanks for watching